today we are going to set up the particle system as you can see that we have two different particle systems we have the fireworks and we also have the kind of um, smoke that is coming out so you have this little explosion in the beginning and also a trail of smoke that is coming out here so we are going to look at how to do this today so in order to add the actual magic effect to the scene we are going to head over to the asset store as always and we are going to get the simple fx cartoon particles and download them you can basically do this with any particle system you like later on but just for the tutorial i'm going to use this one you can even create your own if you want to um but yeah for now i'm just going to use the simple fx since i think they are awesome so once you downloaded the simple fx particle system you should have the folder down here and then in here you have a folder which is called prefab where you have all kinds of effects so for this tutorial what we want to use is the smoke effect so we just select the smoke effect and drag it in here so or we can see there the prefab simulates smoke we are just going to kind of um, modify it a little bit so what you want to do is you want to go in the inspector while you have the particle system selected and then kind of start doing changes here so first up what we want to go is on the color over lifetime here we want to give this whole thing a kind of i would say um well let, let's just say bluish effect so let's select a blue color here as you can see it already starts to change and yeah leave it like that I think it looks pretty nice when it just has these blue stars and then it kind of becomes black so next up what we want is we want the kind of go sideways because our character is casting it so it should not, should not come from it should not go above so let's go to um, force over lifetime and check it here and now you can play around with these values. I would say, okay, 100 is the wrong direction. So let's go to Z, put it at 10. So it's not 10, but minus 10. As you can see now, it is kind of going in the correct direction. And maybe even set it at 100, so it's a lot faster. And now you can see the particles are way too big and uh, there are just not enough of them. So let's go over here to emission and then also change the max particles to about i would say like a thousand and then the rate over time to a hundred so now you can see you have this oops uh, this nice stream of particles of course it's way too long i'm gonna fix that too by going over to limit velocity over lifetime check that and you can see now you have the like a nice bulk of particles and now we can also turn down the particles a little bit since this is a very cpu heavy task um, yeah, about 400 let's change this to 20 yeah looks about nice so also which is important here we don't really want this uh, kind of emission right here over time we want it rate over distance so we set this to 20 set this to 0 then makes it disappear however if you pull it around you can see it kind of emits once it is pulled so this makes it great for kind of flying away so let's if we cast a spell it just moves with it So this particle system we are going to use and also I would like to have a kind of explosion in uh, the beginning so when he casts it there's like a explosion and then the kind of stream comes out. So I go back to the prefabs in the simple effects folder down here and go to fireworks blue large drag that in and you can as you can see it's kind of like an explosion um yeah 
So I want this kind of to come out of his hand and then the blue streams flies away. So let's look at the particle system itself. I think it's a little bit too big. However, um, that is probably just fine. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And so we have our kind of stream here and we have the explosion in the beginning. So the next step is to kind of pull them both in and drag them onto the third person controller. And now we basically already have our particle system set up and the next step will be to kind of animate them around which we will do in the next 